Tyson Irwin, and I am an industrial design engineer uh, working with a little bit of uh, research and development as well. My name is Luis Valadez. I'm a mechanical engineer. The first thing that you want is you want a good core. The core is what makes the magic happen inside these things. Mm -hmm. So you want to get the higher resolution that you want. This one here, uh, this is a 320. Okay. It's a 320 resolution. It's got a 15 millimeter lens, uh, but we do offer a version, a 640, which is twice the resolution. And we have a 75 millimeter lens uh, version of it. And I guess it all depends on the, your application. Like if you wanna, if you don't wanna be carrying around a big scope, because with a 75 millimeter lens in there, it gets pretty heavy. Okay. So with the 50 millimeter, it's, I, I would say it's, this is like the perfect package because it offers you good clarity nice. and resolution mm -hmm. and no, it, your detection rate is pretty high too. I mean, you could be able to identify an, an animal like 300 to 800 yards maybe. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's got pretty, pretty, good, uh, pretty good clarity at long range. Okay, so the core is the main thing that I'm looking at. So if I'm on a website, like what, what kind of specs, like how would I know if it's going to provide a good quality core or not a good quality core? Um, is there any key things in there that yeah, I'm going to so be looking uh, at? It has to do with the amount of pixels in the camera, like a 640 and also your refresh rate. You want a, something that keeps refreshing uh, fairly fast so you don't, so you don't get that uh, delays in your image. Okay. So it's all like a smooth transition when you're panning around looking for your targets. It offers you clarity and, and, and just like a, as if you were looking more through a day scope, you know, it, it doesn't look like you're looking through a camera. Okay. So as far as refresh rates that you mentioned, what's optimal? Uh, for refresh rates and then like something like this if I wanted to buy it. So a good refresh rate would be would be 30 hertz at this point. Uh, the human eye typically can can sense uh, around 30 to 40 hertz. Uh, once you get into the 60 hertz, um, the, it's it's almost doesn't make a difference. Uh, okay. So I would say 30 hertz is, is a good refresh rate. Uh, it allows for low delay. Uh, when you're when you're panning a target or yeah. when a target is moving across the camera okay. um, So you won't see a bunch of blur behind it. So it's it's uh, 30 Hertz is is a good is a good number to look for